peeking is one of the most fundamental skills in any FPS game. And unfortunately, in Valorant, a lot of players don't know how to peek. In fact, they don't even know the types of peek and the situations in which you should peek accordingly. And this video is meant for those guys. So what are the different ways of peeking and which one should I use? There are three main rules of peeking that you should keep in mind. First, don't be an easy target. Second, make the enemy an easy target. And third, push the result of your peek to your team's favor. Peak 1. White Peaking White Peaking is when you peek out of the cover instantly to throw the enemy's aim off. And here's how it looks on the enemy's perspective. When you white peek, you move at lightning speed, so it is harder for the enemies to track or flick you. On the downside, the enemies are also harder for you to hit. And if there are multiple enemies holding the same angle, it is a very risky peek. So when should you white peek? You should only white peek when you have the precise information of where the enemy is. To perform a white pick, stand as close as possible to the wall and aim your cross set to the spot where you think the enemy might be. Simply strafe out, counter strafe, start shooting and get back into cover. When you peek far away from the wall, you appear very slow on the enemy screen and when you peek closer to the wall, you appear super fast for the enemy. Remember to stand close to the wall when you want to white peek an enemy. Peek 2. Shift picking Also known as tight picking. Tight picking or shift picking is when you want to clear each and every angle precisely and thoroughly. When you're tight picking, you have a lot of time to clear each and every angle. And you're always quieter when you tight pick, so you give out no sound or no info. Cons of shift picking is that it takes really long to clear every angle and since you move very slow, it is very easier for the enemy to track or shoot you down. So when should you shift pick? You should shift peek when you have no information about the enemy's whereabouts in any site. To perform a shift peek, hold your shift button and be as far away as possible from the wall and slowly trace the edge of the wall that you want to peek. In this way, you are clearing each and every angle slowly and you are using the angle or vision perspective advantage. Angle advantage works the exact same way like the human perspective works in real life. The closer you are to the wall, the less vision you have. And the farther you are from the wall, the more advantage you have because you can see the enemy's player model before he can even see you. Peak 3. Crouch Picking Crouch Picking happens a lot in higher ranks and it gives you a slight advantage over the enemy when you do it perfectly. Crouch Picking is when you actually crouch behind the cover but then you instantly stand up and pick the enemy to shoot him down. Or you can just sprint out and crouch to shoot the enemy down. If done correctly, it throws the enemy's aim off so that it gives you a split second advantage in which you can kill the enemy before he can even react on you. But crouch picking is really hard and it takes a lot of time and efforts to master it perfectly. So crouch picking is viable when you are 100% sure of the enemy's location on a map. To perform a crouch pick perfectly, you can simply swing out of the cover and the moment you see the enemy's play model, you can simply crouch and shoot him or you can Crouch behind the cover and swing out of the cover and then when you see the player model, you can stop your crouch and shoot them down. Peak 4. Jump Picking Jump Picking is done when you have little to no information about the enemy's whereabouts on the map. So you use your movements to know the information about the enemies by baiting the shots or the utilities. When you jump pick, you actually spot the enemy for a split second but it shows up on the minimap for your whole team. So now you have information. And since you jump peek with a knife out, you are very fast and it, it gives the enemies very little time to react. Downsides of jump peeking is that it also gives away your position and if the enemies are very close to you, you will be caught off guard. You should jump peek when you have no information about the enemies whereabouts on a map. To perform a jump peek, you need to equip your knife in your hand and then you need to strafe to the right side by pressing D and then jumping and then when you reach the pinnacle of your jump, you need to swing your mouse to the left and press your opposite strafe button. You can use the another jump pick variation which does not involve swinging your mouse but just your keyboard keys that is you just jump forward, strafe out and then press your backward key which will bring you back safely. Peak 5 Repeaking A lot of players in any ranks have this habit of picking an enemy, having a long fight of whiff shots and then getting into cover and then repeaking again in the same angle or in the same way. This is a huge disadvantage because think about it, when you repeat an enemy, 
technically he could be anywhere on the angle that you're trying to peek him before so now you would be pre-aiming this last seen spot of the enemy but you would already have moved to some other spot and now he'll have a better angle and cross your placement on you so remember this when you want to re-peek an enemy use some variations like either crouch peek either swing hard or just use your utilities like flash recon something as a distraction to peek again that's it for this video guys i really tried my best to explain the types of peeking to you and if you did learn something new please leave a like and drop a comment below as it really helps out in the algorithm and it can reach more people in youtube thanks